guys. It's another quickie. Or is it? Maybe. It's a trap. You know I had to do it. So, uh, I did find Mr. Akbar. Sorry, Admiral Akbar. At GameStop, as you can see by the lovely sticker on the front there. Um, did I have a $5? No, I did not have the $5 coupon yet for him. And actually, I just got an email saying that I built up enough points that I get a free action figure. So next time I go to GameStop looking for figures, I will grab one for free. So, uh, I mean, I didn't necessarily need an Akbar, but he's pretty cool. You know, and it's not often you get a Mon Calamari um, anything. And of course, this is a, a Jedi, you know, thing. So it's got the green on there. You got a really nice drawn image. Down the side there, of course, Black Series thing, Black Series there, and then on the back, expanded image, all that things. Let's read up on Mr. Akbar. Admiral Akbar, I wonder what his first name is. Uh, during the Battle of Endor, veteran commander Admiral Akbar oversaw the rebel attack coordinating with starfighter operations led by Lando Calrissian and Wedge Antilles. That's true. He did do those things. Also, he was... Uh, Available on a lot of things. And then his son was ever so briefly in uh, Rise of Skywalker. I think they called him Junior. And that's the only time you see him do anything. It's pretty cool. And then that. What will be interesting is if we get an Admiral Raddus from Rogue One. They're going to give us one Mon Calamari person. Give us more than one. And like... Ooh, just right off the bat, he does look nice. Just in the in the plastic as it were once again hasbro how much how much plastic are you saving by this new packaging because seems like you're doubling it up hmm. i want to keep saying it until they realize that we were lied to so wasn't it that like something about their suits like because they are an aquatic species um Something about their suits allowed them to even breathe water, so to speak, or something along those lines. Am I or am I off base? He does look nice, though I feel like the finish on the head does not translate to the hands. We'll we'll look at it closer. And he does come with the obligatory rebel blaster that so many people come with. So we'll take a closer look at the good old admiral. Yay! All right, so let's get out our good trappy friend here. Got to have our... Uh, that fell all the way to the floor. We got to have our birthing, plastic birthing ceremony. Come on, Admiral, it's your plastic birthday. Sorry, I'm trying to get this with my toes. All right. You know, I do this just to annoy you guys. Ah, ah good Lord. It's a Mon Calamari person. Not sure where that landed, but okay. All right, so let's see here. We got a good old Admiral Ack Bar. Look at him. First of all, those eyes look really good. Though my only thing is, well, while they're sculpted and whatnot, there's no depth to them, which is one thing that they had. Sorry, kicked the damn tripod. Uh, so like, if they had done the eyes, but then added like a thick clear lens over it I think it would have been cool but they would have probably wanted to paint the whole head translucent just to make that happen instead of just implanting some cool looking eyes um does his head move barely wait does his mouth move holy crap okay hold on wait wait I gotta get this out of the way I didn't know he had an opening mouth this is awesome this is awesome okay it's trap that's awesome. Can you actually? <sighs> the problem is, is like suit is like in the way. Look at that. he's got a painted tongue and everything. Look, fish face, nice. Technically squid head. He is technically a squid head person, not a fish, not a fish. But looks really good. I love the digital printing on the helmet. He does look wet, which is weird, but cool. You know, so, I mean, the shading on it and the wash or whatever they did is fantastic. The uniform is what it is. Um, you know, the softer plastic outer, like, tunic layer 
is cool. Gotta wonder if they'll use the inner body for more uh, rebellion people. <laughs> Look at the mouth. It just opens up like that. That's cool. I did not I did not know that the mouth opened. I'm going to be honest with you. Okay, and then let's see. Does he have a butterfly? It looks like he does. Tiny bit of a butterfly. Can spin around. You got that. You got a gold stripe running down the inside. Get out of my way. I'm a flipper man. And then you've got whatever the heck is technically going on here. They almost look like crab arms. More digital paint there. Then his, I never realized his hands look like that. But the funny thing is the hands don't really match that. I mean, there is like a bit of a wash to them and the black claws or nails. Ew, suction cups on the hands. Did anybody know they had suction cups on their hands? Anybody? At all? I think you're lying to me. I think you're lying when you say yes, he had suction cup fingers. Okay, and you do get some waist rotation and stuff, but once again, tunic thing here, whatever this is. I don't know if this is just for him or like the Zaman Calamari thing for like pressurized to keep their bodies wet or something. I have no clue. And then his rank and all that crap. That's actually not painted very well, to be honest. Other arm is done well, and he does have his gun holding hand, which he does have his rebellion blaster that everybody has. And let's see if I can get him to actually hold the dang thing. Question, when did Admiral Akbar ever hold a gun? In the series? In the movies? Anybody? Anybody gonna tell me that? You're lying, once again. But he can technically hold it. You're not gonna get to the trigger with that nub of a top finger. Uh, maybe one of your longer twin middle fingers. Once again, that's just weird. I would like him actually with his chair, like his command chair would be a really cool thing to have. Uh, quintessential T-mounted ball joints for an okay Jean Calamari. And then, uh, not going to get much of a chorus line with this tunic, so he moves very stiffly. Can kick the leg back 90 degrees, single jointed knee. I'm okay with that because look, they just make it super smooth. I'm okay with it. Thigh rotation is there, foot does foot things as well, and you got rotation below the knee if you feel like breaking up the cool sculpt, but I don't feel like breaking up the cool sculpt, so I'm not going to utilize that cut below the knee. I'm just going to have a really cool Akbar. I'm not going to lie, this is actually a very nice figure. He's weird, but he's very nice. So for comparison, we'll bring out another nice but weird looking figure, and we got our Plocoon. And I figure with the weird texture and alienness of him, he's a good comparison, you know, with all the weird, they just absolutely crazy head sculpt. So, I mean, they earned they earned their money with the Akbar. Not gonna lie, even though I got him at a, pretty sure I got him at a discount. Okay, so let's bring in somebody else for the time being for comparison, because people say I don't compare to enough other things. So there is another Power Rangers figure. Sorry, I don't have any more Marvel figures for comparison, but you can see... Tommy is just barely shorter than a squid guy. And then because of my other channel people, something I never bring out. There it is next to a Gundam Universe figure. Whoa. <laughs> that hips just went whack. Like a quack. It's a, it's a Gundam. So it's a trap. It's a Gundam. That is what it is. But yes. It is a cool figure nonetheless. And I keep forgetting to bring out Wally. There's Wally. With the Admiral of Akbarness. Wally. He's a squid guy. Right. It's sad that Akbar only gets known for saying one line, even though he was pretty important. Like I said, I think it'd be cool if you use this sculpt and just modify it a little bit, because the top of the head, the head probably be the same, just recolored. Give us a uh, Radis from Rogue One. I think that'd be cool. It's gonna be a little bit shorter, fatter, and grayer, but I think it'd be neat. So I'm gonna have I'm gonna have him with the gun behind his back, like he's like sneaking it. He's like, no, no, it's it's definitely not what it looks like. It's definitely not what it looks like. It's a trap, mofo's. I I don't know. I'm playing with my toys, okay? It is what it is, guys. So if you get yourself an Akbar. It, it's definitely worth it. I think it's a good-looking figure. The sculpt is crazy. I mean, they gave us they gave us uh, suctions, suction or suckers, I should say, on the hands, which is nope, nope. I did not just think about what I just thought about. Shut up. I did not think about that. 
So, if you didn't think about that as well, leave it in the comments. If you didn't think about that as well. But, I will see you guys next time. Like, subscribe, do all the things. Go check out all the other Black Series stuff. And I will catch you then. And remember, as always... I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Keep on nerding.